All right, in this video, I wanted to show you Diffy, which is a very simple way that you can both create a chat bot with your own information, whether it's text files or PDFs or other, other types of files, and be able to create and deploy a chat bot in just a few minutes. Now, the thing with Diffy that is unique is it doesn't just give you the ability to create a one-off chat bot, is it essentially gives you an LLM ops platform, which is sort of like a backend as a service interface. So if I just go ahead and show you what I mean by that is essentially once you deploy this to your own infrastructure, so you'll, you'll have a Docker container that you could apply to AWS or Azure, and you can essentially uh, have this type of experience uh, set up on your own end. And now because it's open source, you'll be able to go ahead and change this and tweak it as you see fit. Now the thing with Diffy you can go ahead and look at their license. It basically gives you the ability to use this more or less however you see fit so long as you're not competing on their core service. So essentially, uh, from what I read, if so long as you're not creating a cloud platform and essentially copying exactly what they have here for their, their product offering, you can use this how you see fit. So if you want to change out the branding and you know make it sort of your, your own you know company or, or what have you, um, you can go ahead and sort of tweak this as you see fit. So now on their actual product offering, it does show you a different, uh, a number of different templates that you can get started with for different chatbots. So there's a very simple flow where it gives you the ability of having data sets and apps. And these can tie in to one another. So say if you have one data set, but you want to play around with a, a number of different chatbot uh, versions, you could do that. So it has that flexibility where the data sets and the app themselves aren't bound and tied together, which is really nice. Now the data sets themselves, this was the thing that I found most impressive because what this is doing behind the scenes, having coded these things in Langchain and, and shown many of you on the channel how to set up certain aspects of this thing, is this gives you the ability to manage all of it. So it gives you the ability to embed them, delete them, uh, manage the different documents, you know, if you have multiple documents. So that's a common question that I get on this channel is, how do I do this with my own PDF? Or I wanna chat with my own PDF. So here is one option for you uh, if you're looking to create a uh, chat bot with your own document. So once you're within the data sets here, here and you're within the particular data set that you want to uh, upload different files, you can see here, you just go ahead, add files, and then once you've uploaded the files, it will break these up into chunks. And on the back end here, it will embed these. So embedding is essentially giving your application the ability to quickly query the relatedness of what a user's asking within their LLM prompt and returning results and giving you that natural language at the end um, with its response. So there's a, a couple pieces to, to all this working, but you can see here that the nice thing with this is it gives you it all broken up within a visual GUI. So you can even go ahead and turn off different pieces of your PDF if say if there's something that's not pertinent. So there's lots of like little features in here, which is quite impressive for a project from my understanding that was just started a handful of months ago. So once you have it all set up, um, I'll just show you a local version here. So now to actually set up the local version, it's really as simple as pulling down the repo making sure your system requirements are adequate, which they almost certainly will be. You can see you know, how little uh, you know, CPU and RAM that you need to get this set up. And then you simply go ahead, make sure Docker's running, and then you can compose that container. So once you have that, you'll have this view, which is essentially, or rather this view, which is essentially the same thing of their product version but local on your machine. So once you've gone ahead and configured this, you know, you could go ahead and deploy this on your cloud infrastructure if you'd like, and you can sort of have more or less control over uh, uh, the ability to, you know, change the different pieces and sort of make this your own. 
So once you're in here, you'll see that there is uh, the same interface, but in this example, I actually set up uh, the same SEC filing and I plugged it in to a demo for this video. So if I go ahead here, you can see I have a simple you know, question, what is this file? In this case, there's just one, and you see it's a 10Q from Apple. And I can say, how were the earnings this quarter? So the unique part with this, it almost goes without saying, is it gives you the ability to use uh, data that is up to date, whereas on LLMs such as ChatGPT, it doesn't give you up to date data because it's trained on data with quite a lag. So it could be like a couple years lag from when they initially train that model. So you can see here, like, you know, it starts to give me an answer where it's, you know, it reported a net income of 24 billion. And you can see here, it has also suggestions that you can tie in. So if I go within Diffie and I were to edit the application and I go into, um, the application here, you can see that there's a few different options here. So you see the context that I wanna use is that data set. And then in terms of the different features that I've turned on, I have the follow-up questions, which is what you see at the bottom. And then there's also that ability to have uh, speech to text. So if I just go back here, you can see that there is also the microphone icon. So there's a whole lot within here that, you know, you can build a very impressive uh, chat bot with your own data in just a handful of minutes and not only build your own chat bot, but you can have a whole infrastructure. So you could build and deploy a handful of these, right? You could essentially have a chat bot as a service or a chat bot uh, agency, if you will, uh, from something like this. So a very cool project. I encourage you to head over to GitHub, check it out, give it a star um, and just explore it for, for yourselves. It's a very cool project. I'll definitely be diving into it a little bit more. If there's anything else that I find that's worth sharing, I'll make sure to do that as well. But otherwise, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next one.